You want to start a website for your business but don't know which choice is best for you between Shopify and using WordPress? In today's video, we will be reviewing Shopify versus WordPress and the hosting platforms that come with it, as well as themes, design options, pricing, and what platform is the best for different types of business models. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and making more money online. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Now let's compare both of these platforms each at a time and talk about differences, pricing options and everything else. So you can make an informed decision when starting your website for your business. The first thing we're going to talk about is the platform that holds the actual website. For Shopify, it's just Shopify. You don't have a hosting platform and then the domain and then something else integrated. So you just have Shopify. For WordPress, you have WordPress as the main editing software. And then you have different hosting options for WordPress, such as Bluehost, SiteGround and many other options. My favorite hosting options are listed in the description below, starting with SiteGround because it has great security and great customer service. They help you out in a minute just by using their chat feature. Bluehost is also an amazing platform it is a lot more affordable and if you choose to go with Bluehost you will have your domain name for free for the first year so you can check them both out in the link in the description for pricing after 14 days of free trial with Shopify plans usually start at $29 per month WordPress is a lot more affordable, starting at $4 to $6 per month, and you can upgrade from there if you need more website space, more hosting space, and everything else. Again, you can see the pricings and everything else in the links in the description. As for themes and themes options, both have really great premium themes options as well as free ones. Shopify, you can design a premium website with their free themes with no worries. But for WordPress, I would recommend besides getting the free theme, also using Elementor or free website plugin to design your website to offer a bit more flexibility to the design. Usually WordPress themes are a bit more affordable than Shopify themes because you can get themes for your blog only or you can get themes special for WooCommerce shops or for shops in general. So those can be a bit more pricey, but the same thing goes for Shopify. So in terms of pricings for themes, you can start at $30 and end up at $200, let's say for a premium good theme. Now let's talk about products upload and how you list products on your website if you want to sell products. For Shopify, you just upload them directly in the platform. You just go to products and start adding them one by one. You can duplicate products. You can choose them to be available on different sales channels and more. For WordPress, you would need the WooCommerce free plugin to upload your products, but the interface is not as professional. If you've tried WordPress before, you know that Shopify brings a better billing system and everything else, and it is a lot easier to use, but so is WordPress if you don't want to invest a ton in the beginning of your business. For other apps and plugins, Shopify has a great range of apps that you can use for free in their app store. And same goes for WordPress. You can use different plugins for free without having to pay. Now let's talk about the design freedom. When you get a Shopify theme, you can only design as much as the theme allows you to. But when you go and get either a premium or a free theme on WordPress, you can use Elementor, the pro version, to build your own theme in WordPress, to just build every single page you want, product pages, collection pages, and everything else, even the header, the footer of the website, and more. You can check out Elementor in the link below. On Shopify, you also have some apps that allow you to design different pages, product pages, or add more information about products in some pages. But other than that, I don't know of any app that you can use as you use Elementor on WordPress. For domains, you can add and register a domain that you've purchased on both platforms, Shopify and WordPress, and you can purchase a domain directly from Shopify or directly from your hosting platform that you use with WordPress, or you can just buy it from a different provider and then transfer it. As for email marketing, both of these platforms can support any type of email marketing forms or codes. Now let's go through a list of different types of business models and which platform I would choose for each of these. For a basic product selling business, so your main focus is selling products and you will only sell products you don't plan on advertising on your website in the future, you don't plan on starting a blog and becoming a blogger mainly. If your business is all about selling products, for example, you are a fashion business, you want to bring as many products and accessories and everything you want to the mix in your shop, 
then I definitely suggest using Shopify because this will benefit you in the long run. But if you don't have the money to invest right now in Shopify because it is quite more expensive than WordPress, you can start with the WordPress site until your business takes off, you have a few money to invest and then transfer to Shopify when you add new products and when you have multiple products and just choose to keep the same domain but just change the plan to Shopify. Now for a membership business, so you basically have a membership site, people will sign up to either see your courses or maybe some digital products or whatever you're offering, I highly suggest using WordPress because you have the option of using different plugins for these types of things and you don't sell the products primarily, but you sell the membership. So that is a bit of a different business plan for which I recommend WordPress. For a blog, so you primarily want a blog, you want to advertise your blog with ads, with Google AdSense or whatever, you want to do affiliate marketing, you want to do all of these things to make an income, but you also want to sell a few products maybe here and there, you can definitely use WordPress and WooCommerce. WordPress is amazing for blogs in terms of SEO, in terms of everything you need. It is actually built for that and if you want for your product selling business to have a blog just attached to it, you can still use Shopify for that. But for a business that primarily supports a blog and this is what you do, you want to be a blogger, I highly suggest choosing WordPress. So there you go, these are the differences between Shopify and WordPress and the different types of business models you can use to apply each for. These are differences that I have seen while working with clients and while choosing both for my own businesses and I've tried both of them and I saw which of them work best for different models. I really hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to leave it a like and a comment down below if it was and subscribe for more such videos every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram at lidara.ingamisuccess for more tips on growing online with social media. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.